Badoom. <laughs> Badoom. Whoa. Okay. Cool. You know, um, look, it says on my, well, you can't see it, but uh, I can, and that's what's important. It says that my stream is an excellent, it has an excellent connection, and that's great. That's just fantastic. Um, let's see if I, the audio is working. Yeah, it looks like it is. Sounds like it is. Oh, oh, oh. I need to make sure that I turn on the audio for the actual game because uh, I was about to, uh, you know, just uh, uh, go crazy. I was about to go crazy. How's everybody doing tonight? Tonight is uh, the, the very night. <laughs> uh, boy, am I excited. So a long time ago, I didn't, somebody just said in the chat that there are three of these games. This is a new arcade adventure game, ages eight and up, which I am exactly that. It is Adventures in Odyssey and The Great Escape, which I assume is focused on the family's attempt to present to you the uh, appropriate form of escape since they already made the not-so-great escape. You know, taking a little bit of a positive approach. I'm realizing now that there is an insert in here. Thanks, Vinny. Uh, Vinny Har 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 Harnman? Vinny Harn... Ned. Vinny Harned. I, I had it in my head, in my Ned head, and um, and then forgot. Anyway, Vinny, who, Vinny Harned, who I hope you don't mind me saying you had a YouTube channel called homeschool nerd and um and you i want to say you've been a fan of mine but i've been a fan of yours so uh that's a little bit how it goes and uh anyway he played this game much better than i'm going to on his channel and i was like dude how did you find that game how can i get a hold of it and does it work on just a standard windows 10 and he said yes yes and yes also i'll send you the game and I was like, what? No, you don't You don't have to. Okay, fine, I'll take it. And uh, and he sent it to me. Nicest guy you'll ever want to meet. I really appreciate that. Uh, and it's actually been a little while since he sent this to me. And um, and I thought, you know what? I want to play this. It's been sitting here. And uh, boy, even the, even the cover art, I guess they didn't get Gary Locke to do this because it, like, looks like it was made in paint. Um... So, yeah, cool. Good job, Focus on the Family. I'm uh, seeing everybody's chats, and um, I'm appreciating them. Uh, I'll try to read them. I'm kind of bad at, at, like, reading and doing at the same time, so I, I find that I'll, <laughs> I'll be uh, do working on something, and then I'll start reading a chat, and I'll just, I'll just freeze up. But, uh, you know, it's okay. Fun fact from um, Jackson... Jackson? Yeah, uh, that this game was actually based on the Adventures in Odyssey episode, Gloobers. Ooh, Gloobers. Gloobers! Um, so, uh, yeah, if you guys don't know what Adventures in Odyssey is, then you are missing out. It's something that people like myself grew up watching and, uh, and enjoying, of course. And, um, yeah, just, uh, join me in the chat. I am gonna go ahead and try to start the game. I actually should have done this beforehand, but I'm not! Uh, I've got everything set up so beautifully. Hopefully that wasn't too loud just now. Um, I, I just realized that that sometimes uh, is too loud. Oh, it looks like uh, my Blu-ray player is ready to go. And I've got it set up in a way that, yeah, we'll just run it. We'll run it. Uh-oh. Uh, yes, I... <laughs> there it is. It's working. It's really working. Um, I don't hear anything. But maybe we're not supposed to hear anything. Look, you could go to the Adventures in Odyssey website from here. Uh, very cool. Uh, if this just totally cuts out on me, which um, it did just turn off my other screen. So hopefully everybody can see it. I'm unable to see the chat in this current. Uh-oh. Gosh, I hope you guys can hear this. kind of scary. Mandy, relax. It's just a game. Yeah, come on, Mandy. Press enter to start. Okay, okay. Hi, this is Chris. Hi, Chris. I was about to push enter. You are about to enter a virtual world inside your computer and your imagination. A world known as Adventures, Adventures in Odyssey. And Odyssey. And great escape. Keep alert. Okay, it probably just stopped right now because, uh, because I just pushed thing. Is everybody seeing everything that we need? Over here, it's super tiny. I see it on the screen now. Um, hmm. Hmm. Maybe I can make it bigger. I have the technology. 
See if we can do that. Might cover up the chat a little bit. Oh, I can move this chat up. Boom. Okay. So hopefully that will put everything square. Uh, sounds spooky. Sounds scary. Hello, Thomas from England. Thomas Churchill, probably the son of um, Winston, I hope, and pray. Uh, so just a real quick check before we get started on this amazing game. Oh, also someone you just asked um, about my arcade machine in the back. It is an arcade machine that I built myself. That's right. I built it with all my hands. Um, playing games in the background that uh, I would rather be playing probably right now. But uh, yeah, I had a fun time building that. Cool. So I don't know if I'll be able to see the chat because the, the game seems to take over the entire screen. If, uh, if it sounds good, great. In this oh, it sounds echoey. Do I sound? Oh, it's probably coming through my... I'm up to the final level. If I could just win this very last part. It's probably coming through my microphone. Okay. I'll be in the Hall of Fame. Oh. What's this I'm pretty disappointed that it's it's you taken over my computer. Typically, I would, like, put it in well, window mode, called, but I don't know. What do they call this game again? Ooh, that hurt. It's called Firewall Defender. Oh. Oh, I this part is real tricky. Why this, is, <laughs> this is so exciting, but I'm going to get the chat up on my phone. That way I can at least talk to you guys. Miss what? Never mind. Come on, Mandy. Ah! Greetings. Greetings. Salutations, everyone. Whoa. Like that. Eugene's oh, jacked in this. But from what he's been working on his upper body. You are the perfect candidates for my experiment. What are you talking about? I've linked the game Firewall Defender to the CPU of the Room of Consequence, allowing you to play the game from inside the computer. Inside Whoa. the computer? Agree. Whoa. See, I'm not really into video games that much. I'm just doing a school report on computers, and Michael is helping me. And what better way to learn about computers than to go inside one? Come on, Mandy. This is uh, probably a lot of ways, on. actually. Is it safe, Eugene? Of course. As long as the safety protocols are in place. Sounds safe to me. Let's go. What kind of safety protocols are we talking about? Mandy! What are you talking? Okay, so what do I, oh, I thought I was going to have to do something, but I guess I don't. Perfect. Keep in mind that I've installed those safety protocols to keep things... Well, I'm on my phone so that I can see what you guys are saying, see? Try to adjust them. Got it. I should have been paying attention. <laughs> Look out! You're going to get lasered in half! My gosh. Eugene... He's sick. Look at this line animation. Play the game as it's meant to be played, and all should be well. Now that we got rid of him. Come on, Mandy. Gulp. Okay, so uh, you run through the lasers. Is this the? So you're going inside the computer? Well, as long as it's safe, and as long as we play by the rules. I guess it's all right. When was the last time you played a video game and it didn't let you play by the rules? Like, you you were playing and you're like, oh, oh, crap, I'm not playing by the rules all of a sudden? Never. Wow, such graphics. This is 2008 firewall graphics. Defender. Defend the firewall. Neutralize okay, okay. nasty nuisances before they infect Here we go. Drive. Okay, defend the firewall, use the mouse, lock, and launch fireballs, zap, okay, zap those things, repair the firewall, spacebar to fire super antivirus. Okay, that's that thing, F1 for help, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right. Okay, here we go. Remember, our job is to fire the energy blaster from this territory. We gotta oh. knock out the viruses I did it. before they destroy our firewall. I don't remember the things that I'm supposed to fire at. Just everything? Oh, this is has a lot of forgiveness. I did it. I don't remember the things I'm not supposed to fire at. Wave two. Here we go. I can't believe we're inside the Matrix. Wow. I barely have to aim. This is back when mouse... Uh, Mouses were. Did you hear that Trent saw the face of Mona Lisa on his grilled cheese sandwich? Mouses. Uh, uh. I'm doing it. 
See, this is the problem with uh, playing PC games just with a mouse. Just point and click. Psh, anybody can do this. I usually use a controller. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm so cool. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I missed some. The first... You gotta, you gotta shoot in front of the object. You gotta anticipate where it's going. Oh, but they'll trick ya. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Those one guys will pivot. We'll do a little COVID pivot. I'm guessing my score is really good right now. Wave four, fourth wave. Oh, what is that? So I'm not supposed to hit that down there. Is that correct? I mean, I'm getting points, so I'm... Oh, oh no! Oh, gosh! Things have gone out of control! Sorry, I just realized I didn't back up at all from my microphone. What's that thing? This is how computers work. I mean, gosh, I'm not... I'm not, uh, not impressed. I guess if this was more than 90s, it would be a little more impressive. I mean, so far, I'm... He said whoops. Shoot. Level two. Whoa. Did you hear Norton Brewster try to suck raisins through a straw once? Oh my Paper gosh, Norton Brazer. Oh no! Oh, don't worry, he's all right now. Oh no! Is this the whole game? This can't be, right? Right? They can make this an app now. I'll have to pass that along to the... The upper echelon of focus. I'll give him a call. Pass, pass it up in the Christian ranks. Oh, gosh. I'm going to lose now. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Eugene, if I ruin your computer. Okay, okay, they're, they're rebuilding. Oh, so there is a space bar. I forgot about that. That you, that you can use, I guess, once in the game. Okay, sorry everyone. I, I'm I'm having to really pay attention now. So if you guys are saying anything interesting or cool, I am not in it. I'm not in it because I'm in it to win it. Get him! Get him! Kill him! Pop him! I'm about as effective as Norton when it comes to antivirus software. Man, those things are the ones that really get you. So you don't run out of shots, right? You can just, maybe that's what I need to do. I need to be a little more... I need to be a way more aggressive. I think he just gave me some advice that I barely hear. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he just told me if I fire too fast, I can lose all my energy. So don't fire too fast. Whew. That's pretty good for the game to notice that I'm doing the wrong thing and uh, inform me in in a not extremely obvious way, you know, as part of the game. Am I being too forgiving on this? Uh, game over. Hall of Fame. Enter your name in the Hall of Fame. I made the Hall of Fame. I beat Gary. Freaking Gary. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Kevin. Good night, Kevin.
Firewall defender. Level one. Oh. Remember, we Wait. gotta defend the firewall. Is this the whole game? Can someone please tell me if this is the whole game? Because I can play this on my phone. I'm losing steam here. I mean, I'm pretty sure in 2008, addic AddictiveGames.com had better games than this. Like Bubble Cannon. Anybody remember Bubble Cannon? I'm quite the advocate for Bubble Cannon. It's, uh, <laughs> they had an app, and it's out of service. And a great video game developer. A friend of mine. And maybe I shouldn't say his name. Anyway, he, uh... He made a version of Bubble Cannon for me to play. It was really nice of him. I mean, he also had it in the App Store, but it's not in the App Store now. Because he got a better job than making free games for uh, tiny little YouTubers. Get him. Wave four. I think I'm doing better. I like literally say that to myself every day. <laughs> it's a very common uh, phrase. I think I'm doing better. Oh. I think the key here is going to be getting those those guys before they drop their payload. This must be the most interesting live stream ever. Wow, this guy, he's, uh, he's playing Z Zombo. <laughs> he's playing Brick Breaker. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be playing Brick Breaker live for everyone. It will blow your mind. Now, see, now I got too caught up in trying to destroy that guy before. Before. There, that was an accident. I got him. Oops. Two birds, one stone. This is what uh, the inside of a computer looks like, huh? That's cool. See, this is educational. I didn't know that. Some kids' parents buy them a Raspberry Pi. Christian kids' parents buy them this game. Okay. Okay. It didn't even say what wave I was on. I mean, awesome game. I mean, it's for ages eight and up. I get it. I get it. Let, so anybody born in the year 2000 and up and down at the time, obviously now. If you were born in the year 2000, you're not eight years old anymore. Wave three. I'm having a hard time keeping track, to be honest. Oh, gosh. I think this is the way where that, that atom bomb came down. And... Shh. 
I'm sorry. I'm I'm far w worse this round because I keep on expecting that billiard ball to fall from the sky and destroy my shooter. Was that like a, a response to something I did? Did I do that? Or was that something that like that happens? There it was. At least I stopped it this time. Oh man, this is pretty stressful. Stressing out. I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> oh boy. Level three. Oh boy. I think a gate just went to you. Things have gotten red. It's making me more stressed. I'm not in homestead mode. Because it's red, uh, it, blue makes you calm, makes you feel like you can homestead, you can relax and start a family. Red makes you uh, feel like that sale is only going to last so long and I need to buy now. Those are the effects of colors. That's why if you're a salesperson, you're supposed to wear blue because it makes, makes people feel relaxed, makes people feel like they're not sold something even if they are like okay yeah you know i've got i've got a little bit packed stashed away i can uh i can spend i guess i don't know that's the uh, what i've said already is the extent that i know of uh the effects that colors have on your psyche so i'm gonna stop talking about that now but it is true that i do feel stressed out because of the color red and because the game's gotten harder I always let those things hit once. But that first time I played, it like literally came down and hit the sh the um the gun, the shooter thing. So that's what I've been like stressed out for about. You think it's like games where like you play it twice and they make it a little bit easier the next time? I always wonder about that, like to how much programming like that is in a game and how much is just in just my imagination. Because that is true that I'll play a game like Doom, for example, and then like I won't beat a level. And then the next time I play, is it because I've gotten better or is it just are they being nice? Like is, is forgiveness built into the game? I mean, because you can set it on easy mode. Is Jesus Christ's forgiveness built into the game? Wait, why did he just say, oh man? What did I do? Wait, what's that? Oh, I'm not supposed to hit those? Wait, I am supposed to hit those, right? I feel like it just punished me for something that I didn't know about. It's like a worm. Oh, oh, they multiply. It's a it's a hydra. Hydra worms built into the computer. How many kids had uh 
had seizures because of this game. Ten? <laughs> I don't think a lot of the their fan base would be allowed to play this game just because this isn't educational. I mean, which I appreciate. I appreciate this isn't like some math rabbit game. Yet. Oh, man. Dude, I don't like those worms, man. But... Getting faster. I don't, I haven't even looked at my menu. I don't know when I, when my. my guns run out do i does it give me more ammunition i don't know why i'm asking questions guys because i'm not reading the chat <laughs> level four what there's more no <laughs> i want to move on so bad now it's my, it's my millennial brain i can't uh can't concentrate for too long on, on a game like this. Ah! ah, torpedoes! Those blue rocket things? Those are totally poison. If you blast them as soon as they appear, you can stop them from dropping multi bars on you. I hate when that happens. Yeah, I hate that too. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. It's interesting that he's like, oh, you can just hit them right when they drop, but I can't do that. I can't do it. Oh, gosh, it's gotten a lot harder. Yeah, this is not easy. Come on, James Dobson. Why'd you have to make it so hard? <laughs> this is when James, this is the year James Dobson left Focus on the Family. So uh, he's like, I don't care anymore. Just give those kids a difficult game. <laughs> James Dobson never saw this game. I can promise you that. <laughs> Why? 
Good night, Kevin. Maybe, what? I can't do that. I can't do it anymore? They're like, you're not allowed to be the same person. Oh, because I my score is too high. It doesn't fit. <laughs> no, I don't want to play this again. Can I get... What's it say? Music is on. Voice is on. Sound effects is on. Let's see what you guys are saying in the chat real quick. What do we got going on over here? So nobody's answering any of my questions. <laughs> it does look like a Dalek. Uh, yeah, so cool. Cool beans. I need to, like, I need to, s I don't know. I think I can set this up to. Welcome to live chat. Okay. Uh, so it looks like, um. It looks like, uh, I think if I don't fire at them, uh, then it'll, uh, all down there will just disappear. I can't, I can't do this again. I'm sorry, Adventures in Odyssey. Is, uh, anybody who's played the game here, can you guys tell me, uh, Tell me why that this game ain't nothing but a heartbreak. Oh, it's interesting that you guys can't see the chat either in the video. Because I had set it up to to, to work, um, but it it blanks out the entire the entire thing. That's interesting. Uh Great. Well, I'm going to pause it. Um, oh, Francesca, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, so, I don't... I think the game's rated E for everyone. Um, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> whew. All right. Well, um, so, guys, I'm thinking... Is there any way if um, if anybody who's played the game is here? Is there any way to move on past this? <laughs> yes, thank you. No, there's no way. Like at my my uh my he. Sorry if I just hurt everybody's ears. Um. Yeah, okay, well, so that's the Adventures in Odyssey game. My ADD brain is, like, so done with this game. So I was thinking about, I mean, I do have other games that I've been wanting to play. Uh, maybe I'll move on to one of those. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, yeah, cool, Tyler. That is a shameless plug. Wait, is my, uh, is my chat working? Oh, it's... My chat is further behind. It's left behind over here. Where's my... There it is. All right. So that was the Adventures in Odyssey game. I might play again sometime. Uh, maybe I'll get better at it in secret and then come back and, uh, and play it again. But there's a game that I downloaded <laughs> called... I don't think it's... Um, I don't think it's truly Christian. Like, I think it's... Uh, Well, I think that the game's Christian. If you keep playing, you'll end up... But you got to work really hard. It's a works-based game. That's for sure. What's up, sweats? Uh, there's a game called The Secrets of Jesus that I found on Steam. And, um... Oh, this is just a demo. Wow. I was thinking about how fun it would be to play it. <laughs> I'm guessing that this is not necessarily a Christian game. And also, it's in German. So.
this may not I don't know what's going to happen in this game. I don't know what's being said. I do like that the cursor is Jesus. <laughs> well... Here we go. Why would they make the, um, why would they make the title in English? Like, I don't like games where I have to read this much anyway. But if I have to read this much in German... I guess that's, um, I'm not even going to try. Maybe I could get Carmen in here to, uh, to translate for me. Oh, but if the font was bigger, you would be able to, uh, you would be able to know. You would know what it was saying. I thought Jesus would, um, allow me to understand what was being said. There's a history in Christianity of, of people speaking a different language and then put people understanding. And I thought that was going to happen when I, I started this game. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Hey, I'm finally going somewhere. I mean, not in life. Oh, watermelon. I didn't know that that's how you said watermelon in German. <laughs> Great. So I'd have to buy the game if I really wanted to play. All right. Well, that was fun. I tried. I tried with all my heart. Well, oh, oh. <laughs> that must be credits. Ja. <laughs> With all my art, I thought that game was going to be good, uh, but it wasn't. It wasn't good. So, you know what? Since I played that um, that super Christian game, let's l do literally the opposite. Uh, I have played this game before uh, just for fun. It's called um, Super Bernie World. Uh This game is designed to get out the vote. I'm going to go ahead and play this game for fun. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't think it's the government's job to find health care for people. I think it's the individual's job to find health care. No. What an idiot. Medicare for all will lower health care costs in the country by $450 billion a year and save lives of 68,000 people who would have otherwise died. World One, New Mexico starts. Oh, so I'm on the campaign trail. I'm playing, <laughs> I'm so good at this. I'm playing with a controller, if anybody cares to know. I'm not. Look, look at these Trump, Trump supporters. This is quite the dated game. Yes. What is it, a peach? 
Oh, Bernie got big. It's usually not what gets a politician big, but Bernie Sanders is a special case. What are these? Uh, ballad? Uh, tag? Are they chads? Are these uh, hanging chads? I don't even get points for a... <laughs> that Mitch McConnell? Look, look, come on. Be like Mario, please. <laughs> you can't uh, bump it underneath. And you can't go down any of these trash cans, which I, I don't think Bernie would. Maybe that's what it is. Whew. What? Holy cow, I just got flower power. <laughs> Look, it's not just Christians who make terrible games. Actually, this is the most ripoff of Mario I've ever played in my life. Oh, I'm using a, a Xbox controller, if you care to know. <laughs> Should I hold it up here like this? Ding, ding, ding. I mean, the movements are okay. I'm guessing this was put together pretty quick. You think they stole... Eh. You think they stole some code? From Mario? Or you think they, uh, acquired some code from Mario? If Bernie Sanders was in charge, we'd all be able to take the Mario code and use it. Or something. Oh. I just got the, the fist. I'm a little offended that the fist wasn't... That the fist was so white. Uh. This is before... Uh, that was important for the campaign. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, they went full Mario Brothers. Ah! <laughs> Original Mario Brothers. And, um... He, he not only lost his uh, flower power, but he also lost his bigness. <laughs> Disappointed. Oh, the game could be a ROM hack. It's just, it's not... The functionality is... M is... There's... It, it's missing so much Mario functionality that I think it, it was either st stole c stolen code... And adjusted or just completely made from scratch. You see, you can't like you can't pick those those uh, guys up. Um, there's just so much about it that isn't. It's like a. It's very much like a bargain bargain bin, like a bargain basement version of Mario, and not actually. Who is it? Who is it? And not actually like a hack of Mario. Ah, what? No. Who is it? Some Republican, I'm sure, who just likes money. Freaking Republicans and their money loving. I'm so glad that um, you know, <laughs> there's there aren't any Democrats who are just like all about the Benjamins. <laughs> ah, see, look, I hit it on the um. The opposite side and it still went that way so just little things you know games like this really make you appreciate the uh the details of mario the marioian details ah ah all right let's beat this guy whoever he is who do you guys think it is it is texas so Oh. Okay, I thought I knew what was going on right now. Um, but, oh yeah, that would be funny if AOC was Yoshi. I don't think they have the guts. Uh, I think I have to actually jump over. I have to actually jump over the guy and hit that, that thing. So you don't actually jump on top of him like uh, you would with a Goomba of sorts. Ah! 
Okay. Okay. I did it. I got hit, but I did it. I pulled the lever. You're welcome, everybody. I did it. This is actually the most fun game of the games that I've played today. If I'm being honest, I'm not stressed out. I'm I'm much more relaxed. Oh, welcome, Seth. This is um Super Bernie World. I'm playing... Oh, the American people are tired of the out-of-control spending, and they want Washington to get their act in order to stop spending money we don't have. <laughs> Those stupid Republicans not wanting to raise the national debt. <laughs> I think the funniest thing about this is the idea that Republicans actually <laughs> are saying this stuff. <laughs> We had a Republican in office for four years, and the national debt still went through the roof, so I don't think that's really a thing. The American people are tired of subsidizing multi-billionaires who own some of the largest and most profitable corporations in America. Uh, yeah, uh, American people don't seem to be tired of that. They seem to uh, love it, it seems. They want to complain about it, but uh, we keep on electing people who are fine with... Um, you know, uh, making laws and regulation that do nothing but benefit the, uh, the elites. Ah, crap. Elites, like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> and Republicans, too. But if you guys don't think Bernie Sanders is an elite, that's fine. You're allowed to have your thoughts. I think that, uh, there's an argument to be made <laughs> that he's not... <laughs> Look at those MAGA hat wearers. Oh, I thought that was the end. I thought I was at the end. Oh, no. <laughs> Who are these people? Are these, uh... Trump supporters? I got past them, but I wanted to know who they were. <laughs> That's a great question, Thomas. Uh, my politics are generally lean towards freedom, I guess you could say. So I do sometimes get labeled a libertarian. I wouldn't say that I am, just because I don't love everything libertarians say. Um, but... I don't hate, I hate pretty much everything that most politicians say, so there's that. <laughs> I don't know, you just listen to them and everybody seems so corrupt. Like, even, I don't know, you watch people and they're like, oh, this is a person I agree with, and so then they're like, they'll defend somebody, and I'm like, but they're literally doing the exact thing that the thing you were just complaining about those people were doing and I, I mean, politics are so frustrating to me nah. Can't sh does it matter? nah I was gonna go up there thanks for joining uh, Jackson this has been fun uh, maybe um I'll give I'll give the Adventures in Odyssey game another try at some point. Some point very soon. But I think most politics are hilarious. I would say that much. Oh, I don't I don't get into giving um specific names. I mean, you have to laugh at a lot of the stuff. I find it funny that, um, like, I saw this clip, and I know it was probably put together by some right-wing extremist, but it was a clip of, like, the Young Turks, for example, which the Young Turks are, like, the type of people, the type of group that right-wingers obviously love to, like, point out and say, look, at this is what the left believes. And I, I know that that's, it's not. But I did see this clip of... 
when Trump, like, was sliding down. He, he, he fell down some stairs. Okay. He didn't fall down some stairs, but he was going down like a ramp and it was wet and he was ugh. like Trump's goofy and, and dumb. And it, it was it was worth laughing at. It was funny to watch. And the young Turks were like right on point with it. They're like, what? What's going on <laughs> with this guy? And then uh, and then yeah, obviously, I mean, I saw so many funny memes. Like I saw one where it was Mario Kart and Mario threw a banana. <laughs> and uh, and then Biden falls like that was funny as well. Oh, hey, welcome, Luke. So I'm playing a game that is, uh, that is, I stopped playing the Focus on the Family game because, oh, oh, sorry uh, for the um, dirty word there. I'm playing uh, a different game because I played the Focus on the Family game and I uh, lost so badly. So I started playing a different game and everybody seemed to be cool with it. And now... I'm talking about how goofy everybody is in politics and in the world. I'm kind of over it. I probably got too into it during the election, as I tend to do. Um, you know, you just get caught up in it. And it's just like... Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, this is like Super Mario's, but it's... uh. Super Mario Brothers, but it's uh, Super Bernie World. Bernie Sanders, yes. So you're playing as Bernie Sanders? Oh, man, I had it. Oh, yeah, it does look like Mr. Whitaker. This could be... Man, imagine... Focus on the family should have gotten these people to make the Adventures in Odyssey game. All right, so I just got to... Ah, uh, I just need, I just gotta go. I just gotta jump on how many lives? I think this is the last, last life. But if Bernie Sanders was in charge, you would, you would have unlimited lives. I feel like, uh, giving us... I feel like giving us a limit on the number of lives. Oh, wait. Yeah, up there it says it is very uh, anti what Bernie Sanders stands for. There we go. Amen. Yes, you are absolutely right. And you know what's funny is, um, <laughs> excuse me, I see a lot of people saying, but that's what aboutism, as if, uh, uh, what, uh, what, um, Super Isaiah just said is that politics is basically this politician did this thing. Hold on, let me read you correctly. Uh, this politician sucks for doing this, but X is okay. Uh, if it's the guy I voted for. Yes. Um, agreed. The... Uh, oh, man. So, the re what I was saying about whataboutism is people are saying, oh, that's whataboutism. And I don't know that whataboutism is necessarily a, a fallacy. Like a in terms of debate. Uh, it It's pointing out hypocrisy. And uh, and I think... I mean, I do that a lot on my channel. Where I'm like, uh, you said this one thing, but you seem to have an issue with it in this particular situation. And it's not so much that... I mean, and that, that's kind of where then my politics or my beliefs end up landing is just kind of the, the world of... Um, consistency i hope to be consistent and that's i think basing your beliefs on principle like i think I, I i tend to end up being an extremist because i like am absolute about some things like like free speech i i think that free speech is important part of that is because i happen to 
No, it's not because, but it's one of the reasons I run a channel where I criticize, because I think it's important that if you're going to be an advocate for something like free speech, then you're going to have to have an alternative to keeping people accountable for their actions. And one of those things is reviews. You know, if you're reviewing, uh, it, you know, I think, like, for example, Amazon reviews is really important. Um, I would rather a company not be able to stop people from writing Amazon reviews, for example. Um, and people like to, they're like, well, but cancel culture. And I think that's silly too, because I'm like, well, I don't think cancel culture is silly necessarily. I think it's silly when people call something a buzzword like cancel culture when it's them, but they'll, they're more than happy to cancel people. But part of it is just, it seems people believe they are always right and they're like um you're morally wrong for disagreeing with me and i think maybe that's where we're at and maybe twitter causes that to happen you know like that we uh <laughs> we um we argue with each other anyway that's my thoughts on politics hope that it fixed everything this uh, game has really got me enthralled. I I could see why Bernie decided to run again. <laughs> I do think it's interesting that in the beginning, in the beginning, it said uh, that this ga this game is intended to encourage people to get out and vote. Which is, I actually wasn't gonna vote, but I uh, because I played this game, I went and voted for Trump. So you're welcome, everybody. <laughs> I'm saying that for the benefit of the people who made this game. Because <laughs> they don't want to hear that. No, the wrong one. You did the wrong one. No. Ah, crap. Uh, I actually think I do have unlimited lives. That, uh... I'm done with this game. I'm done. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. This has been a lot of fun. Oh, I better X out of the game so it doesn't keep playing that music. Uh... Cool. Um, anyway, I was just reading your comments, as I said before. Uh, oh, I did see Zack Snyder's Justice League. Should I do a review? Uh, gosh, that would take me the rest of my life, I feel like, to do a review of that movie. Uh, all in all, I think it was better than the other Justice League, which I didn't hate, surprisingly enough. I, I did watch it while I was like working on something else, and uh, the original Justice League. And... Um, And, oh, does socialism give you unlimited lives? The, the people who lived through it, I guess. <laughs> um, all right, so the question is Zack Snyder's Justice League. I did watch it. It took me three days to get through that movie. And, um, and it was better than the original, which I didn't hate. But it was still, I mean, it was long. There was stuff that was goofy. I thought the worst about it was Superman and Lois Lane. Uh, Lois Lane did nothing in the movie, and then I just hate Zack Snyder's interpretation of Superman. I, it's just a, an uninteresting version of Superman. I don't love it. Uh, and so I think Zack Snyder's problem with Superman is he's kind of this character who's just like, oh my gosh, I, I don't understand why I have all this power. It's just such a burden that I have to carry to have all this power, and I'm so sad about it, and and what do I do? I guess I'll help out humanity where I prefer. And I know that I'm sure there's comic book writers who feel that way about, um, about, or, or who, comic book writers who write Superman in that way. And that's fine. Uh, but I, I prefer Superman as somebody who grows up as a human and is like, I'm a human. Oh my gosh, I've got these superpowers. And he helps out humanity out of love because he cares about them and not because he's just like, oh gosh, okay, here we go again. Um, I think it's funny that ultimately, like, the story was they had to learn to work together. And <laughs> he, there's this part where he's like, uh, he's never, Batman says something like, he's never fought us together before. And uh, and I thought that was, um, like, very Spy Kids or like that, the, you know, just we got to learn to work as a team. Um, it was long. I I was surprised actually. I saw an article saying that the slow motion wasn't as much as uh, you would think it was, and I guess I would agree. 
Uh, but I, it was a lot of slow motion. It looked pretty good. Uh, it was very Zack Snydery, and um, and there were some great parts in it. I actually kind of wish that they would release like the Z- the Snyder cut, but like the theatrical version. <laughs> I don't know actually why they changed a lot of stuff in the final version. Uh, I feel like what he had there was good. There was a lot of stuff. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that could have been um, cut out. And eh, I don't know. I didn't love Joker. I thought it was goofy. His <laughs> all of like all that ending stuff was uh, felt tacked on. There's a lot of fan service stuff. You know, it was fine. It was just fine. If I did a full review of it, there's a lot I could point out that was goofy and silly. Uh, it did keep me intrigued. It was fun. I don't love Affleck as Batman. A lot of people I saw were saying, like, finally, we get to see Affleck as Batman. Did I say Superman? I meant Batman. I think Henry Cavill is amazing as Superman and is just unfortunately stuck in the wrong franchise. I would love to see him in just a totally different universe i think he's awesome and great and i like to see him uh as superman um ben affleck is kind of feels so puffy (laughs) he's just such a puffy looking guy in these movies both because of his suit and because of his alcoholism and he's just it's like i don't know there's so much where he's just sitting there talking like talking to wonder woman and it's like, and here's the exposition that's supposed to happen right now. I did think that the movie was a little, had a little more point. I did, the one change that I liked about the Joss Whedon was when Batman shows up and he's like, hey, what I miss? And like, because he doesn't have any powers, except he's rich. Um, I liked Flash better in this. I kind of liked the little like race that they had at the end. I know it was silly, but I liked that a little more than the Martian Manhunter cameo. Anyway, those are my thoughts. I think there's so much that happened in that movie. Uh, I felt like it was much more linear. Like, okay, this happens and this happens and the mother boxes actually had purpose. Um, You know, I I like the Themyscira scenes better. Trying to think if there's anything. I thought the black suit was cool, even though it was just kind of like it didn't it didn't mean anything. Um, Yeah. So that's my review of Justice League on this live stream. Uh, what else we got? Uh, you asked what brand of mic. This is a blue microphone. It's the blue baby bottle. I've had it for a long time. Behind me, for my other videos here, you'll see I have the Shure 50. Is that what it's called? No. Shure. Hold on. I'm looking it up so that I give you the right... Uh, like a uh 55 that's what it is the sure super 55 um or just the regular 55 is good too anyway that's what i use the reason i do that is because this is a uh condenser mic and that's a um a dynamic mic and the dynamic mic has a more uh focused pickup pattern if you guys care to know about this and uh that means when i'm watching a movie it will uh it won't pick up the movie as easily uh when do i get my braces off probably in uh like six months from now hopefully so that'll be fun question have you ever watched or considered watching anime at all i have watched some but not a lot uh, I don't ever know where to start, but I do have a friend, Liz, not Lizzie, who likes anime and uh, has suggested some things because she loves it, and uh, maybe I'll watch some more. Oh, The Mandalorian. That's a good question. Uh, I actually, I have a podcast with Liz, not Lizzie, called Laughing at the World with Liz, not Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing at the World with Kevin and Liz is what it's actually called laughing at the world and we did an episode about Gina Carana um we got another episode coming out probably today so there i if you if you care about my political ish views that's where i laugh at politics and and 
mostly ca cultural crap that happens. Uh, I try to keep it off of my channel these days uh, just because I know not everybody cares about that. And a lot of people don't agree with me, which is great. I love that people don't agree with me. And I'd love for people who don't agree with me to listen to my podcast. But I don't want them to feel like uh, uh, ambushed with my dumb ideas and thoughts. And so uh, I, I kind of just... I may, I started that podcast so I could talk about it over there. So I'll mainly make fun of uh, literally everything. It's a blast. It's a lot of fun. We have a, a lot of fun over there. And uh, yeah, I, I guess I haven't promoted that enough, mainly because I, I, I don't know. It's weird. Politics is so weird. That's one of the things. Like, I care so little about politics even though i have opinions about it it's kind of like these movies where i watch these christian movies and i don't i don't love them but i have opinions about them and so i love making my videos and sharing my opinions but when it comes to politics i end up with uh <laughs> i end up with sharing my opinion and then people are like i hate you then if you think that way and it's like oh man uh no i mean maybe some people hate me because i didn't like a Christian movie, but I found, uh, at least in life, that most people are pretty chill about it. Um, will I do another video with Alex Kendrick? I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, I'll ask him. Uh, what else? What else we got? Um, uh, how do you feel about Ben Shapiro moving to your home state? Well, actually, uh, just the Daily Wire moved to actually my home city. Uh, Daily Wire moved here. I, I think any business moving to uh, the local area is uh, is great. Uh, good for them, especially media. I think that's, uh, you know, bringing, bringing attention. But I from what I understand, Ben Shapiro actually moved to Florida. So fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I it's great. Uh, you know, one person with with Daily Wire that I enjoy I don't always agree with him, but I enjoy him is Andrew Clavin, who apparently wrote a, a Christian movie. And maybe if I watch that, I'll be like, eh, I don't love him as much as I thought. But he always seems to be like a really anytime I watch or listen to his show, which is uh, every once in a while, if someone shares it with me, uh, I am like, oh, that, you know, he's got some smart answers. He usually talks about politics, uh, but sometimes he talks about like, you know, real life and his opinion on like movies and, and storytelling is kind of very, very similar to mine. So, um, yeah, you know, even even a place like Daily Wire could have somebody who <laughs> who uh, is he just seems like a smart guy. Maybe he's not, but he seems like one. Did you watch WandaVision? I did watch WandaVision. These are great questions. I should like c cut this into like because nobody else is watching this. But um but I should cut this into like a Q&A. WandaVision, I did watch. I really enjoyed it. It's interesting because I heard a lot of people saying, oh, I hated the first few episodes of WandaVision. And I personally really loved it and felt kind of like they um, they revealed what's going on way too soon to the point that like the second half, even though it was fun, was way less intriguing than the first half. I knew something was going on. And I was like, well, this isn't going to be just like... Uh, <laughs> Just a bunch of parodies of sitcoms throughout the ages. Um, but uh, the <laughs> I'm just reading. Sorry. Um, yes, I, I am talking about Gosnell. It's not a Christian movie. Uh, they say the S word. Oh, OK, <laughs> that's the movie Andrew Clavin wrote. Um, it is an anti-abortion movie or something like that. But from what I understand, I think it more tells a story than it does. Uh, I'm sure it has an agenda. I, I, anyway, my point is, what are we talking about? Um, WandaVision, I felt like they kind of revealed what was going on way too soon. And so then we're just kind of like waiting for the show to be over. A lot of people were like, I wish they would have told us what was going on in uh, from the beginning. And I, I guess I just was like, okay, I know something cool and interesting is going on. Um, and it felt more like early episodes of Lost. And then halfway through, they're like, okay, and now we are we cut over to what's going on in, in the outside world. And I, I was a little disappointed that they did that so early. Um, I, I thought it, it 
was kind of a cop out. It was kind of like talking down to the audience. But maybe since I've seen so many people say, I wish they wouldn't have done the first few episodes. They were boring and dumb. Then uh, then maybe their core audience does like that. Now, I've watched Falcon and the Winter Soldier so far. I've been a little I, I feel the way I think a lot of people felt with the beginning of WandaVision. I've just been underwhelmed. I was impressed with the first episode with like the fl like the action was cool where he's like uh, flying and uh, chasing that fighter jet and stuff like I was like, wow, this is a TV show. This is amazing. I can't believe they're doing this on TV. Um, it looks as good as the movies. And I think their budget is probably like. $10 million an episode or so. Uh, but I still, um, I kind of was like, I don't know. I, I was kind of hoping for some, I don't know. So far, it's just in terms of the story and the characters, I've been less intrigued. The last episode, I might have been too tired to watch it. I I was trying to pay attention and, uh, and I was just like, I looked over to Carmen, my wife, not the singer, and I was like, are you bored? I'm bored. I really want to like the show so badly. And I was having a hard time uh, getting into it. But I, I'm hoping that it picks up and that I'm just maybe I'll go back and watch it and, and feel even more intrigued uh, when I'm a little more awake. Um, so you guys were asking about my musical taste. First episode was a letdown. I, I guess you're talking about WandaVision. Maybe uh Oh, final episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just kind of like, oh, that was it? Okay. Uh, all right, then. Cool. Um, but it's kind of like Lost where you set up all these questions and then the, everybody's expect. There's so many theories and everybody's expecting something bigger. Um, are you going to do a trailer reaction to the Chosen Season 2 trailer? It was released on Wednesday. Maybe I will. That's a great suggestion. Uh, I will do it. I will do uh, try to remember to do it. Um, guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. I'll, ch I'll try to find out if that game that we tried to play today was, uh, has any other, uh, has, has any other, um, way to get around that, that, uh, that dumb level that seemed to take up all of my time. It was too difficult. It, it was too difficult and, just uh <laughs> took up too much time to like get past it was it's really kind of the um the cuphead of christian games so anyway uh thanks so much for watching guys it's been a blast uh i'll talk literally a blast because uh we were blasting those things I'll talk to you guys